We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy Big Squiggums, and today I start up my early access coverage of Rise of Humanity. It is by Cybernetic Walrus. Shout out to an awesome name for a developer. And released on October 21st, 2021 into Steam Early Access. So make sure you guys go and check it out if you like what you see here. And, of course, support it so it becomes a full-fledged game in the near future. That being said, a big shout-out and a thank you to the developers for hooking me up with the code for this. I've not actually played it yet. As you see, I have a grand total of zero experience. Oh, my cursor got caught off the screen there. Aww. Well, hopefully when we're in the game, it locks it to the screen. If not, that's fine. Anyway, anyway, we're going to go and we're going to start a new story. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it's going to go well. So, well, let's do it. Enter a name for your hideout. Bump Cave. Bumpin' Cave. No, that, that, that has a different connotation. Alright, this also has that same connotation. But we can pretend it doesn't. Uh, standard stats, weaker, stronger, much stronger. All right, we're going to go with normal. Uh, single player, okay, cool, cool, cool. And we have no other options there. Tutorial, inactivated and minified. Let's get to it. The theme park entrance. Loading the environment. Oh, little bunny rabbit, he's so cute. It might be so fluffy I could die. 2081, Western Europe. Uh, yep. Seven, four, three, four, nine, four. Grr. Grr. Evening, everyone. Latest reports tell me a crusher horde is through Nova Terro from the southeast all the way to the southwest. Out. Oon and shelter. Turn, we need support. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, their communication devices don't seem to work very well. I'm just saying. Oh, you got a little bow and arrow. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to him. Oh, God. Robo World. Oh, yeah, no, this is going to be fine. Yeah. The signal I picked up is getting stronger. The source must be around here somewhere. Guess I gotta take out these crushers first. Oh, we're gonna do that? Okay. Welcome! Look around with Q and E on the middle mouse button. Okay, huh? We'll move with WASD. Sure, sure, sure. No. Oh, we can't scroll though? Oh. Okay, that's fine. No, that, that all works fine. I like that. Setup complete. Your hand. This is your hand. You use cards in your hand to attack, defend yourself, and many other things. To use them, you'll need to get closer to the enemy. Let's move closer. Right-click the indicated hex. Let's move there. Ha! Get over there, my hunter. Oh, dear sweet merciful lord. We have upset a giant thing of death. Wake-up range. An enemy has just woken up. You moved into its wake-up range. From now on, it will try to attack you. So advance with care and destroy. Right. A stamina. Okay, that's how much we can move. Note that your movement range is limited by your stamina. This number shows how many hexes you can move. Got it. Uh, reaction cards. That enemy might deal some damage. Let's prepare ourselves by playing reaction cards. These are triggered by enemy attacks. Left click and drag a re quick reflexes cards to play them. Uh, drag, drag where? I guess just onto us? Okay, uh, alright, uh, it seems we played all possible cards. Did we? Like, it looks like we could shoot him with a pistol. I feel like you're lying to me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, two, two slots. Okay, you're not lying to me. Alright, and this time. Oh, look at him walking. Look at him, look at him, look at him walking. Oh, he missed. Haha, -ha, fool. He missed again. So this is where your reaction cards shine. You managed to dodge all of the Crusher's punches. Yeah, I did. Before we attack, take a look at your energy. Uh-huh. Three. Yep. 
Uh, most cards need energy to be played. Your total energy is indicated here. Required energy is shown at the top of the card. Yeah, yeah, I'm all over. Oh, oh, exploding bunny. Got it. Some hexes might ha might give extra energy. Let's move to such a hex so we can increase our options. Right-click the indicated. Okay. Look at your energy increase by two. Yeah, it did. Now we can hit that crusher with full force. Pick any card and we'll guide you through what to do next. I mean, the, the bunny is clearly the one to go with. All right, we got an ice axe times dose. We, uh, we got a, a pistol. We have Hunter's Fury. Move two hexes in a straight line and then deal two damage. Or we can uh, deal five damage to everyone in the hex. Oh, no. The range, uh, okay. Click and hold the card, drag it to the middle. Oh, I see, okay. So if I did that, I would hit myself. Now click on, uh oh. Oh, on this hex. Okay, it wants me to do it on this side. That's fine. Right click the hex to throw the bunny. Enjoy! Boom goes the big old guy. Oh, look at that crusher. Not feeling super good. You hit that crusher good. Let's follow up with another card. Yeah, I think we're going to follow up with, the, uh, with the, either one of these. Now we're going to go with this. Oh, yeah. Let's get him. Dang, we hit hard. Yay, you did it. That crusher is history. Left click a card and select the loot card button to take that card. Heal self. Turbo jabs. Just a whole bunch of punches. Okay. Attack an enemy and a, an adjacent hex for one damage. Okay, so that's just three damage guaranteed. And then we get another crew. I will go with the heal. If a button or icon is not clear to you, hover over to get a bit more information. Uh, try out on the buttons next to the hunter's portrait. Okay, discard pile and a draw pile. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, what do you want me to do now? Oh, kill all enemies. Apparently there's a sleepy bot over here. And there's some stuff going on over there too. You're near a toolbox. These things might contain good cards and use scrap. Walk on a hex with a toolbox to loot it. You only get to choose one. Draw three cards to keep all fire pistol cards. Kept cards have no energy cost. Oh, that's interesting. Draw one extra card. That doesn't cost us anything. You know what? I, th I think I like that. I like the idea of being able to pull out another card. I granted, if I didn't have that card in the deck, then, you know, it's kind of a nothing card. It's like a, hey, just pull another card, man. Versus if we just didn't have it in there, we would automatically already pull another card. That kind of seems like a wasted card, in my opinion. But what doth I know? Oh. Oh, all of these will wake him up, huh? We got a couple of uh, quick reactions. Wakey, wakey, big guy. We'll step up a little bit closer. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pew, 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 and take you down. Yeah, I didn't feel very good and I did it. All right, we're all reactive. You want to come hang out? Come hang out. See what you got. Uh oh, scratching his butt. Oh, he healed himself. Oh, look at the little baby legs. His little, his little baby legs. Look over here. I'm just gonna lightly throw it. What is this? Do? Oh. I'm just gonna lightly throw a grenade on him. It's gonna be fine. Hold this. And I'm gonna lightly shoot him as well. And then I'm gonna go over here and grab this. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Out of my way. Draw two. Position switch. 
I mean, I guess? Let's see if the big guy can make it to us. All right, what do you got for me, buddy? Get a waddle on closer. Oh, he's got a, a dodge move himself now. What does this do? Oh, heal self. All right. Do I hang out? Oh no, it, it didn't. Oh, is he gonna counterattack? No. I mean, oh. All right, I guess I'll draw another card. Here we go, another melee coming at you. Hit him. And we defeated him again in rage. Increase uh, the damage of all melee attacks. I won for the rest of the turn. So it's coming from that theme park. I better go check it out. Mission success. All right, I like it. Everything seems very intuitive. The only thing I'm not particularly thrilled about, and maybe I haven't tried it since the early part, doesn't seem to be a way to zoom in and out at all. I, I would like that, but that's okay. It's a small little thing, but I mean, and there's always a possibility it does exist. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, building mission center, building sleeping quarters, location, theme park, uh, sorry, theme park entrance, and ally hunter. All right, we played 13 cards, we looted four. All right, let's die it out. The bunny! Those crushers were sleeping, you know. You live here? In this theme park? I guess I like to keep my enemies close. But who are you then? Just someone following your signal and running into your friends here. Don't get me wrong, I'm thankful you got rid of them, really. It's just... Well, they're rather tame lately. I don't want to alert the stronger ones. Seems you won't be able to get rid of them yourself, though. Well, I could have. See, I have this walk thing I made. Really? I need to get some repairs done, so it's kind of broken right now. Oh, a walker. Oh. You made this yourself? Well, I get why you're not scared. That thing is hefty. I'm a bit worried, though, actually. I, I don't know what you're doing here, stranger, but... You don't trust me? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know, but we got our share of looters here, and... Look, I'm no looter, really. Last thing I'm looking for is a fight with other survivors. Boy, if I thought you were, I would be in this half-wrecked walkabout or walkbot stomping your booty. Eh, I don't doubt you would, but did you say we? Are there other survivors living here? See, uh, my daughter went out in the woods alone. She was looking for something, but she's taking her time. I gotta take a look, but my walkbot isn't ready. All right, so just a, a quick, small thing. This is a, this is an okay size. I don't mind this. The size is fairly easy to read. Uh, I would still argue that maybe increase this whole thing by 25, 30% and just be that much easier to read. Uh, it, it's, it seems to always be this size and the dialogue always fits within this. So if you just increase this whole thing by, you know, like 25 to, like a quarter to a third larger, I think that would be much easier on the eyes. It's still easy, and they've done this right. Some are so tiny, I'm sitting there like squinting, like, what does it even say? And I know others, especially like on their phones or whatever, would have a hard time reading as well. This is why I always narrate everything, right? So, uh, I'd like to see this just a little bit, little bit bigger. It doesn't have to be massive. You don't have to double or triple it in size, but just, just a little larger, I would like it. But, again, it's okay as it stands now. You want me to look for her? In exchange for not pounding me into the ground or leading me into yet another trap? No, really. I swear. Small warning, though. She's not particularly compliant. Well, better prepare first, then. Welcome to the hideout. Here you can tweak your deck, make your characters stronger, and prepare for the next mission. Hover with your cursor over a building to see what it does. You've received three skill points. Use them in the sleeping quarters to acquire a skill. So... You and play your missions. 
Is that it? Those are the only two places? Alright. To the sleeping quarters we go. Using skill points. Seems you have enough skill points to spend. If you want to acquire a skill or increase your maximum health, click and hold the corresponding button to make it happen. You cannot reset skill trees for now, so be sure to make wise decisions. Uh, it seems okay. I, yep. Sure. It just came back to me, I guess. Alright, so we got three. Right now we have general skills of being able to move and being able to punch stuff, alright. Then there's hit and run, gunslinger, and explosives expert. When an adjacent enemy dies, you gain two stamina. That's interesting. When you move adjacent to an enemy for the first time in a turn, you draw a card. Yeah, that's interesting too. Add one damage to each melee attack. When you kill an enemy with a range attack, you draw a card and gain one energy. That's interesting, too. You cannot be damaged by friendly fire. That's pretty useful. If you use a ranged attack on an adjacent enemy, deal double damage. Oh. Um. We'll go with the, we'll go with the gunslinger. I'm here for it. It's fine. All right, so that was that. Let me have cards. And we have 0 through 10 out of the 14. Oh, we can scroll down. Okay. Sell, push. Is there a way to turn cards off? Nope. Can we, can we trash them or something? No. It's okay. We're, we're learning. All right, let's back out of here. All right, we're going to view our mission and play it. This is a map of the region. Here you can access the next campaign mission and try some optional side quest missions. Uh, main campaign missions are red. Side missions are blue. Click the highlighted main mission to continue the campaign. All right, well, I... Guess we did that one. I guess we're going here. I guess this is red. It looks orange to me, but it's fine. Uh, okay, rescue memory, find the quarry, precious data, survive. Uh, rewards memory, Sue Lumbermill. Sure. Character slots. Looks like we're bringing our, our hunter over. Start the mission. You need to fill up an empty ally. Uh, up all empty ally slots with allies of your choice. Since your only option now is Hunter, click his portrait to take him with you. In later missions, some characters might become unavailable or mandatory. If you're ready to roll, click the Start Mission button. Sure, let's do it. Did we just get shot at? What was that? It is lovely here, isn't it? She's, she's got all the crazy eyes. Oh, Robo Doggo. What? We didn't make a noise. Ow. Bingo. Still on top of my tracking game. She seems to be hiding from that puppy. Better take it out and give her tools. Oh, okay. She's not hiding. She's just getting chewed on by the Robo Puppy. Well, to, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. She's, she's doing a terrible job. All right, so we have uh, choices of where we can go. Oh, maybe now she's hiding from it? Oh, the dog is just coming right at us, I guess. All right, we got deck skills. Some skills of your allies allow you to manipulate manipulate your deck. Click on the square buttons at the bottom right to use them. Hover over them, see what they do. Select a card in your hand and replace it with, a, with one move one card the one move one card what with the melee card with a move one card I, I don't know keep both hunter and memory alive all right well I mean I guess I could enrage but it doesn't really all right I'm gonna move up 
I'm gonna chuck this right at the the puppy. Boom goes the puppet might. We'll go ahead and get a new card. Oh, we got ourselves an ice axe. Uh, we do three melee damage. Don't even need to enrage for the. Oh wait, I don't have any. Oh, never mind. I don't have a. I don't have any energy left. I did not realize that took all three. I mean, I, I probably should have realized that. But that's okay. Hmm, that's fine. Anyway. Alright, the puppy's just gonna buff itself up, I guess. Then I'm gonna go launch my fury attack. Ah! Uh. Okay, I totally murdered that guy. We said good day, sir. Okay, there's some extra energy and stuff there. It's fine, I guess we end our turn. Uh, really, we wake something up if we go that way. All right, I'm gonna come around the back then. See if I can't do this without waking the the neighborhood. What's up, memory? Who are you, and why do you have my tools? Well, glad to help you out. That's not an answer. Where did you get these? Whoa, easy, man. Your your mom was right about you not being a people person. Mom, Sue said that. Did she send you to spy on me? Who are you anyway? Name's Hunter. Come on, let's go back to her. Uh, I will go myself. Thank you very much. Let me finish this. Okay, bye. What's so important out here? I found a data cable that sends prompts to local robot AI networks so we could analyze this to obtain behavioral patterns of the main AI. Uh, could be crucial for us. Me and Sue, that is. I'm not sure why I'm even telling you. Uh, exposition is why. Look, I promised your mom, Sue, to bring you back. Can't force you, but she can't stop me from helping you. I mean, she could technically kill you. Like, there, there is that option. Now, she might not be a killer, so that might limit her options on that front, but... What, what's, what's with the weird camera work? Oh, we got the red-eyed crusher. He's ready. I, I assume we've already awoken the the Krushar. All right, well, let's chill back here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Why why is she like selectable? Do I have to do something to her? No. Oh, now it's her turn. Okay. Oh, she got some... Okay. She got some uh, some options here. So I, I guess if we do a ranged disarm... It's probably pretty okay. Is she like a hacker? Add energy for... Enemy two slash one in a range of one. Ah, uh, okay. And we could also immobilize the enemy. If we had the energy to do so, we do not. Okay. Guess I'll step back and we'll we'll dance with this guy. I don't know. He'll walk up. He shouldn't be able to do anything to us. How did the doggo get upset? Did he find out that we exist? Looks like he may have. I said we move here and we just prepare. Alright. What if 
we did a little uh, system shock. And then we backed up to here. Alright, see what the big guy does. He may have some sort of ranged attack. I mean, I, I don't know. Let's assume we can outrange or outmaneuver him, I should say. Alright, gonna enrage myself. But also quick, quick reflexes myself. Then I'm gonna step over here and I'm gonna slap this guy upside his noggin. Boom, a big old hit. And then I, I, I guess I could, I don't know what, I don't know what the exclamation points are all about. Random card will be discarded? What does that even mean? All right. You got another ranged attack, system shock. Okay. Disable all targets and movement within. Sounds useful. We'll, we'll put the dog on uh, on stoppage. I think if we just back up to here, we should be fine. Let's see what happens. He's gonna heal himself. Yep, he healed himself for one. We just have to be able to do four damage to him, and I think we can definitely do that. Oh yeah, we definitely can do that now. We move over here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna chuck our grenade out. Boop! Loaded oh, bits! Let's step up. Ice Axe is coming into play, and we said good day, Robin. We said good day. I'll move two, and I'll move one. I mean, I guess. Eh, okay, the zero point card is more appealing to me. I don't know if the uh, the Robo Doge is going to be able to make it to us, but maybe. Can I hit Robo Doge from here? Looks like I can. All right, let's hit the Robo Doge. Draw three, discard two. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Reset self, range disarm. Uh, let's get rid of that one. And let's get rid of... What does that do? Discard your entire hand and draw cards equal to the... Oh. And we can hit him with the system shock again, and that might even put him down. Not quite. He's close, though. Alright, let's so turn. Let's see what the puppy does. The puppy has moved within striking distance. And he shall be struck. Star struck, that is. Do, 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 do. Uh. Explode a bit. Alright, so we did that. Keep both Hunter and Memory alive. Indicated hex, quarry entrance, reach the sawmill, the dream, and stuff. All right, there's still a lot to do, ladies and gentlefolk, but that may be a tale for another time. I hope you guys uh, like this first episode. I'll probably come back through, play maybe one more episode, and then maybe we come back when there's some big updates and some new stuff added. I don't want to dive in and try to play the whole thing in early access, as is the norm for me. I want to be able to experience the whole game once it fully releases. So to me, that always means... Do you do all the coverage in Early Access, or do you just do a little bit? I try to do a little so you guys can see what's there. You can get behind it and, you know, you know, pick it up yourselves and start playing it and be like, this is great. And that way I don't have to rehash a whole bunch of the storyline. Say they release the first three chapters of a game, 
And then you play through it, and then it's like, oh, cool. And, you know, six months later, I have to play those three chapters plus the additional two to finish the game. It's not really how I like to do things. I'd rather, you know, do a little bit here, a little bit there, and then game's fully out. Then we dive in and we play through the whole thing. Anyway, folks, I like what I see. Really cool stuff. Again, I would love to see a zoom in and out. I, I'm not particularly in love with the locked to just this distance. But, you know, at the same time, if you are going to be locked to a specific distance, I don't find that this is too far away. Uh, maybe, maybe slightly too close, but even still, I think it works pretty okay. I would like to get in a little closer and kind of see, you know, you going up and hitting them and stuff. I think that'd be kind of fun. But uh, no, I, I, I'm impressed with the game so far. I very much want to see how they decide to do things and move forward with it because... I said they have a pretty solid base starting here right here right now so good times all around can't wait to see more hopefully you guys uh want some more information about the game if you do i'll have more information about the game information on the developer and all of that stuff and where to get the game of course all down in the description of the video and various links you know the youtube thing subscribe like share do long division whatever and until the very next episode i have been your host bumpy mcsquiggums thank you so much for stopping by the freak show we play we fight we conquer.